this morning I was, I, I watched that video and then I read the comments and I was like, my first instinct was, I, I'm going to make a video destroying Matt. And I was like, no, I shouldn't do that. But then I just made this video. So I'm sorry, Matt. I have no animosity towards you at all. I'm kind of debating if I should even release this video. Oh, now I'm just being bitter. Matt's a good guy. You might be oblivious to how you're douchey sounding. I'm sorry, Matt. Good look. You might be oblivious to how douchey you are, Matt. Subscribe to his channel. He's a good guy. Hi, I'm Matt. Everyone but my method is good. Only my method is good. Anyway, look. Matt's a good guy. And what the fuck is up with your desktop? What is happening on your desktop? Come on. What are... <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I want to I have coffee with you and apologize to you in person. Another thing that happened uh, today, well, actually it happened a few days ago, but I hadn't noticed about it. Someone said something about it that got me uh, really depressed, like like upset, like oh, mad. And all of those emotions and, and where my stomach hurts really bothers me was a channel, uh, a very small channel called Matt vs. Japan had made a video called Hating on Japanese from Zero. And... Uh, I'll show you the channel. So this is the channel. It's called Matt vs. Japan. Uh, it's a very small channel, and I want to do give Matt vs. Japan some props. He made a video called Hating on Japanese from Zero, and the whole premise of the video is how can you learn uh, kanji from a man that says he's never read a Japanese book? It's true. I did make that statement, and he shows the video. When I was in Japan, I did a live stream, and I talked about it. Uh, and I think what initially upset me about that was number one, it's true. You know, I haven't, beyond comic books and tech documents, I've never really read Japanese books because as I quoted myself, I'm quoting myself, it's a pain in the ass because if we don't know a kanji, you gotta look it up. And, um, and I was making a rant video against someone who said, because I don't read books, they, they were giving me a hard time. And I ranted back on him. But then at the end of that very video where I quote, I said, okay, you know what, you're right. I should be reading more Japanese books because I teach Japanese, I should read Japanese books. And I went out and I bought this book when I was in Sapporo and I made a video, I made a video showing that I was buying this book, I haven't released it yet. Hey, you wanna learn Japanese? I got a book right here, it's called blah, 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 nine, blah. And all you have to do is open it up and it explains a blah, 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 picture of a person. Uh, and then let me just see what else we got. Blah, 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 seven. Yeah, uh, wow, I learned a lot from this book, it's fantastic. Uh, immersion, it's the way to go. All Japanese all the time. But the whole premise, the whole premise of what Matt was saying, and I even made many comments in that video, which had gotten close to a 3,000 views. I said, look, uh, I think you're being unfair to me because, I, because I'm being open and honest and saying I haven't read a Japanese book and because I think it's a pain in the ass. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not qualified to teach Japanese. And I made a comment in another part of that thread. I was like, look, does that mean I can't learn mountain climbing if you haven't, if the instructor hasn't climbed Mount Everest? Or can I, can I not learn how to drive from somebody if heaven forbid they haven't been in a F1 race? You know, th there's levels. And the main point he said was, yeah, you don't read books, but you specifically said it's a pain in the ass to, learn, to, to read the kanji. And if, you're in, if you have a system of, of learning where you've, learned, you've been learning for 30 years and you still can't read a novel, well, your system is flawed. Okay. Uh, but I haven't been learning Japanese for 30 years. I learned it when I was in Japan and then I came to America. I was a tour guide and I was using it in my life. And then I got married and I've been married for 22 years. But has my Japanese increased at the speed that it increased when I was learning it in Japan? No, it hasn't. I learned more Korean in that time because I was studying Korean. And I've even, I've been very open on this channel. By the way, this is the last video of this type going on, Japanese from Zero. So if you want to watch videos like this where I'm just talking openly, please go to Polyglot George. That, that's where they'll show up. Anyway, um, I have been very, very open about number one, I say Japanese from zero should not be your only source for learning. I'm not saying Japanese from zero is the end all be all because this is what people were saying in the comments was that 
you know, you can't be fluent with Japanese from zero. I've always said you can't be fluent with Japanese from zero. We don't even cover the higher level grammar. Even in book five, it doesn't get super advanced, right? Um, I've always been open about that, and I've always been open about saying I don't know every kanji. If you watch the, if you watch the uh, the gaming Japanese, I have to look up kanji. I don't know every kanji. It wasn't my goal after I got to. Uh, once I got to, uh, I think I in class got through the first thousand. I was like, okay, good. I didn't really care to learn anymore. Does that mean that I could learn more? Yeah. Does that mean that I learned some organically? Yeah. And another thing that Matt said, and I don't fault Matt. Okay, Matt's a good guy, and his Japanese is phenomenal. His Japanese sounds like a Japanese man. Now, I'm not a fan of the way he speaks Japanese and the way that A J A T T. All Japanese all the time speaks Japanese. It's this very affected way of speaking. It's like, it's like this, this, it's a douchey way of speaking. In my mind, it just sounds like a young Japanese guy. Not a fan of that style. I don't speak that style of Japanese. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, they do this little mumbling thing and they have these little, um, like they do all of little effect, affectations of, of Japanese men. I'm not into that. I mean, that's what they do. That is actually a valid way, like sounding Japanese by emulating the style that they use. I don't do that. I just don't like to do that. See, that's what I would say. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't slur it out like Japanese people do. Not everyone does that. まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、
that I've looked up that either I know, either I know the word or uh, I know the word, but I want to see what it actually translates into English. And I've started a list um, here on my list and I've got uh, 28 words on this list currently. And some of them are words that I use. I just never thought about what do they actually translate to in English? Because when I read a book, I can read a book. I would skim over the words I don't know and I would get the context from the surrounding words. That's exactly what you do in language when you don't know something. You just skim, you listen. If you don't know a word, you don't worry about it, okay? But I'm not doing that when I read a book. When I read a book, I wanna know every word. That's what's a pain in the ass about me reading books. So here's my, here's some of the words I learned. Uh, katste. I've heard katste, I've never used katste. It's not part of my dialogue. It means formally, former, okay? Aratameru. I use aratameru all the time, but I didn't know what it actually translates into English. That's a word that I learned organically. Nebaru. I know nebaru, but I didn't know it in the context they were using it in. Seiritsu. Usu usu. Yosho. Didn't know yosho at all. Sonzaikan. I knew, but I didn't know what it meant, a good word in English for it. Okay? It's presence. Jishu. Koi. Ijiru. Sukusuku. Gobi. Hodo toi. These are just big words that I don't use in my everyday language. And I have a handicap. I have a handicap with my Japanese. I live in America and I've lived in America for 22 years now. I don't live in Japanese society anymore. And the only Japanese I speak is to my wife and people that I talk to online. And when I was interpreting, okay, when I interpreted, uh, by the way, Maybe I'm not qualified to interpret simultaneously. Am I good enough? I don't even know. Am I good enough? And on translation, we've got George. Thank you for being with me, George. Thank you. Uh, I hear your, sh your shows, your live act is, is pretty out of control. The audience gets really into it. Do you want to describe the audience at a Ketchup Mania show? Ketchup Mania no live no show is very wild, so I'm going to hear it. I'm going to tell you how you can see the people who are watching the show. I'm going to tell you how to see the people. 日本とかだと、もしとかダイブとかがもうすごいね。In mm. Japan we have, you know, they're moshing and they're diving. It's it's really wild. But I did that for 15 years. And 10 of those years I was hired at at a medical company translating for linear accelerator uh repair. I'm pretty sure I knew some Japanese to do that, okay? I feel so disrespected. I know it's just a small channel. And and by the way, Matt removed that video. And I think it's because I was talking to him. Or I'm getting ready to get a better hate video, like a video that goes through even more, because I say a lot online. There, I say a lot online and I'm sure I can, you can take everything and put that together and show you that I don't know what I'm talking about. That's probably what I'm open. Maybe Matt, I hope Matt's not that kind of a guy uh, because I think Matt's Japanese is fantastic. I haven't seen the system. I know that he used all Japanese all the time, and it seems like a lot of people love all Japanese all the time. Um, but it comes off as, the, the way that they speak comes off as pompous to me. That's just my opinion, right? It's just like they're, they're it's like, okay, when you meet some foreigners in Japan that speak Japanese really well, there's a, actually, I do it too. I'm guilty of this too. But you meet them, and then there's this one-upping of each other, like showing how well your Japanese is. And I feel like, when I watched the Jiko Shokai video of Matt, the way he, the way he's, even though he's saying like, you know, uh, my accent wasn't good, blah, 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 what he was saying about himself early on, it's still, it's the way he's speaking. It's like, yeah, it's like, you know, like to me, I'm, I'm but you know what? Look, to each his own. Um, I'm showing you the Matt channel right now. You can subscribe to his channel, not gonna hurt me. I've talked about my competition here on this channel. I'm not afraid of the competition. They have, many of them have more subscribers than me. And I, and, but the thing that, the only thing I was trying to get Matt to understand was I think he's biased in looking at me. He's taking one statement out of context where at the end of the video, I say, I'm gonna read a Japanese book. I'm gonna go buy some books. By the way, I bought more than this one book. And then I also applied that to, well, I probably should read some Korean books all the way to the end too. I bought Korean books and in China, I bought, I bought some Goosebumps books in Chinese because I finally, I feel I should try to read one of these and, and see what I can learn from that. Oh, and by the way, these are, these are all Goosebumps books here in Japanese that I plan on reading. I bought them with the intention of reading. I just haven't gone through all of them. I went through maybe 10 pages. So I get bored, I get bored and I'm busy.
So I do a lot of audiobooks. All right. So, uh, Matt, I, I, you're probably watching because I'm sure your fans will, will tell you that I made this video. No animosity towards you. And I even sent a, once I found out that he had removed the video, because I was actually going to show part of it on this video. I was going to show the criticism and just address it head on. I, um, I sent him a message saying, hey, man, I, I didn't intend for you to remove the video. I'm open to criti getting criticized. I'm okay with it. And your video I watched today, today only cemented the fact that I probably should separate the drama vlog stuff from my own channel and put them on Polyglot George because then <clears throat> there's no weirdness, right? I am Japanese from zero. That's what we do. I teach you Japanese from zero. I'm not teaching you to read a novel. I never have claimed that. 